So, the problem with the power steering kit is it matches not this tractor or it fits not this tractor quite good. Several main problems I would say which I see. If I have the axle spindle on one end position like that there's enough space but if I go in the other position so I will stop here right now so this is the other end position the cylinder is out so but what you see is it is directly attached the belt in a way that they will yeah it is impossible to run this no way okay the idea to solve this is if I expand the axle from the from this size so that I give them a bit more in this direction and a bit more in this direction then I need here an adapter part so that means the this steering part have here a, a little yeah a, a little radius if I go further from this point to this point if I expand this then it must be go a little bit more out I think so yeah definitely it is and so in this case I there I have a finger a finger white place so I can I can uh, risk to go further to the engine so and maybe this is this is the the little part what I'm I'm missing to the belt so let us test this with okay now it's four o'clock in the morning um, I have uh, installed the power steering system I have um, solved this by installing on this side a spacer to give them more room so from the from this little corner here if you expand the distance to this point then automatically this um, connection will be goes uh, comes more to the engine so that gives us uh, the space what I need to the belt so that works but this part I have stolen from um, the hydraulic arm so I need this with the with this um, bolt there in to bring the hydraulic arm on the right position again but I can connect the hydraulic arm but in the hard uh, in the hard right connection there it is too wide out and the bolt here they are only with two or three screws with two or three threads um, connected so that is not what I can do so the point, the point, the point from where it is connected to the bracket here, the middle, the middle of the bolt, to the middle of the bolt, in the shortest position is round about. It is. 
80, 80, and, 80 and a half centimeters. So it, in the um, manual it stands, it must be 79 centimeters, but I think 80 and a half is okay. The reason, therefore, I think so, is that the arm comes now more out from the engine regarding I have expand the front axle to solve to solve the issue with uh, with the with the space to the belt. So um, what is not so fully clear for me is, uh, but I think it is right, the high pressure. The high pressure line is connected at this at the at the first one and the backward pressure or the, 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 the backward line is connected to the second one. And the next issue is on the picture which is totally different to the parts which are delivered here. On the picture the valve is on the other side but that will not fit to my tractor, definitely not. So the question is, is it fine if I do the valve on this side? So it shows that it would be fit to the right position there. Maybe a bit more light. I haven't installed it yet regarding there is the original uh, steering arm. Um, on this uh, arm it is pretty, pretty heavy connected so I, I have to think I have to see how, how I can disconnect this so that is the reason why this arm is not connected yet but it seems that it will fit this push position but I have no clue if um, I do the full right and left side steering if then is also everything fine I will see what's happened but first of it the question is can I go or can I stay with this solution that the arm is on the outside, not on the inside? And is the um, is the pressure this? Is the high pressure connected to the first and the the um, low pressure side uh, connected here to to the second to the to the rear? Is this right? I think so. And yeah, what I need is exactly can I do it sharp more sharp yeah. it's exactly that part this one with the with the with the bolt and this nut which feeds to to this yeah steering arm between the right and the left side regarding to get this here right in place so but anyway um, what I mentioned before is here yeah, the right side is not installed but the left side is installed so as I mentioned before this have a size of 8 millimeter and the hole in the arm here this hole in the middle where it is connected this hole in the arm have only seven and a half millimeter so no way to get this in I have um, bring the I, I have done this to, to the right size and also the next issue is um, that comes too too wide out of the axle so this is not this is not deep enough this 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 is yeah this how it called this installation place here is not deep enough they there must be a millimeter more in this direction but it i have solved this i i cut i cut this half moon to the right size to fit this but i haven't done this for the other side yeah and also there is a uh, another little issue. I hope I have it done it right. I have controlled this. What is the the easy way into the the tank, the oil tank? 
um, and so this is this is I think this is the way which goes into into the pump on the hydraulic high pressure side. So there are several distance uh, distance um, adapters in, and the only way it makes sense is this way. How I have installed this with the adapters. So it looks pretty nice under the um, how it called I have no clue under the dynamo the dynamo ah yeah you see what I mean but the issue is it will you can do what you want it will touch this so this is not good so that means I will cut this this adapter maybe from that side it's better I will de deinstall this adapter again this one damned I will deinstall this adapter and I cut them on the late machine maybe two or three millimeters that is that is all that is that is not it's not really much but it is not good so yeah I need therefore the help of Steve but Riga but um, this the needed bowls and and this stuff it is impossible to get this here right now on a I would say on a easy way impossible yeah and then we will see how it runs okay there are several reasons why I have to have this um, um, extension bowls in between the hydraulic the hydraulic arm and the steering arm regarding this bolt here on the bottom they will be go easily in conflict with the steering arm so I have to to give them to give them more distance from the steering arm so the solution is or maybe there is a, a hat available this kind of hat um, which a very very long um, treat on it a very long I have no clue if this is possible and the next issue is maybe um, to stay with uh, or not to stay um, to to have this uh, part in place between there. This is this corner here, and this they don't will yeah they touch each other, so it is also not working. So that means the valve must be back in the direction of the steering arm of this steering arm so that this is far from this corner yeah. and one of the next question is if there is a possibility um, maybe maybe it is good enough if we have this here in place but it could be that there is <coughs> yeah something something more to do then I have to add here a spacer so therefore question is it possible to have this head with a longer screw here so that I can add some spacers to get here higher 
and to bring the nut um, with a safe position on it. But if I do the a spacer on this side, then I have not enough um, of the screw on this side to get a safe connection. Yeah. It is not. It fits not really <laughs> 100%. It is like a bit a puzzle where you need maybe the angle grinder, a late machine, maybe the mill the milling machine, no not the milling machine, but the late machine and then yeah. I will see what what I need to finalize this. Do it. Don't expand the video. So is there something else what I have to think about? Yeah, I have to go in the and to the bed, but before I will load Steve this video.